Hello folks, I'm Richard Rose from Colorado. You may know my work since 1980 in soy foods and since 1994 in hemp foods. I helped start the modern hemp food industry in North America and was the first to import shelled hemp seed and create an entire best practices company around it, Hemp Nut Incorporated. I wrote two cookbooks on hemp nut, ran the Hemp Industries Association, started the Hemp Food Association and the Medicinal Hemp Association, and I consult and write. Most of my work the past year has been educational, especially on CBD. So, emerging technologies. First of all, Nobacco. Full disclosure, this is my thing. Artisanal CBD buds. It's the cheapest source of CBD by half. It's calming, with no paranoia. And uh, farmers can get about half a million dollars an acre in revenue from it at a fairly nominal price. Um, tobacco, it's just, it's just CBD buds. You smoke it instead of tobacco or marijuana, or in addition to, to cut back on those. Uh, the weed in the 60s and 70s was high in CBD, it's not today. So the weed back then was more giggleable. You would laugh on it, you would giggle, you'd have a good time. Fewer people do that today on THC because of the lack of CBD. This is another way to get uh, a healthier cannabis to smoke and to cut back on tobacco. Uh, another emerging technology, CBD dab, 70 to 80 percent CBD dabbable material. Also solventless CBD shatter uh, and also high CBD cannabis, which is not hemp but at two to one CBD to THC is not really going to be used as marijuana either. I call it an endangered cultivar, super medicinal, but not yet commercialized. The strain of this I had, I named FCK, FCK cancer. You can add the missing vowel. Another emerging technology, CBN cannabinol from fields of 0.3% THC hemp. CBN is the sleep cannabinoid. CBN has the potential of being uh, bigger than CBD and THC as well. Juicing for acid form cannabinoids. See Dr. Courtney's work. Uh, juicing fresh tops is a way of getting acid forms and uh, that would mean THC acid form, THCA, which uh, will not get you high. So you could take even a, a gram of THCA and go to work and function. Um, one way of doing that is through juicing. The other is through powdering fresh tops without heat for acid forms. Nothing added, nothing removed. Also powdering whole and shelled hemp seed using the same technology. And from that you can make instant hemp milk and ice cream mixes. If you harvest the shells, the hemp seed shells, uh, you can extract cannabis and bee, which is a, a cancer fighter. As well, you can continuously uh, non-impact shelling of hemp seed, allowing collection of intact shells for extracting cannabis and bee. 90% hemp protein powder. Currently, that's only 50%. Tissue cultures are being used to propagate plants, hemp plants, and membrane technology can be used to extract uh, hemp seed oil. Expect to see many soy-free meat and dairy alternatives made from hemp seeds soon. Now for a Colorado, that's emerging technology. Now for a Colorado update. I estimate that about 500 acres are planted in Colorado to CB hemp this, CBD hemp this year. The economics are as follows. Don't write this down. I'm gonna post it on the Facebook uh, um, page for World Hemp Congress later. 12,000 pounds, 12,500 pounds of CBD, assuming 250 pounds of tops per acre and a 10% extraction yield. At just $10 a gram, the selling price for CBD, that's $57 million in revenues, which means that just one product from just one state exceeds all hemp imported by the U.S. last year from Canada, which was about $50 million worth. At the current spot price of $50 a gram for CBD, the value produced this year of CBD in Colorado is $285 million. Quarter of a billion. One state, one product. Compare that to the price, uh, retail price of Charlotte's Web Oil at $200 a gram. So $50 a gram is not a wild uh, high number. And it's the current spot price for CBD for edible manufacturers in Colorado. Revenue per acre is $113,000 at $10 a gram and 10% yield. 
and 567,000 at the current $50 a gram. Yes, over half million dollars uh, re return revenue per acre just from CBD hemp in Colorado. Remember, these are conservative numbers. I'll post these equations as a comment on the Facebook post on this talk whenever they put that up. A few have achieved a CBD content in hemp of 26%, which is more about yield and revenues than anything else as compared to, say, 2% CBD hemp. CBD is being extracted in a former Walmart building in Pueblo. Last year, one-third of the hemp licensees in Colorado were indoors, meaning year-round CBD production, four or five harvests a year, or breeding, mostly CBD production. Crops are starting to come off now in Colorado. Most of the cultivars are proprietary, not certified. We're holding our breath to see what the impact of male hemp pollen will be this year on female CBD hemp and medical marijuana grows downwind. This has the potential of being a major problem for the industry. The current spot price for CBD on the Colorado edibles market is $50 a gram, similar to the price of THC. We expect it to eventually settle at $10 a gram, which is a fraction of the price of THC here. Other updates. This is the one year anniversary of my starting the Medicinal Hemp Association to advocate and protect CBD hemp companies. In that time, we produced more original educational materials than anyone else and shifted the policy discussion from legalizing just fiber production to also protecting CBD from FDA. I also recently restarted the Hemp Food Association, which I originally started in 1998, and which at that time had 50 members worldwide producing hemp foods. In the HFA, we will be doing more education, policy, and public relations for the hemp seed food segment, and especially now advocating for the inclusion of CBD in foods and supplements and managing FDA issues. Um, CBD, hemp seed oil, shelled hemp seed, whole hemp seed as food are all equally legal or illegal, depending on how you want to look at it, uh, per, per the FDA uh, in the U.S. Managing the impacts of the fast-growing medibles market, marijuana edibles, on hemp seed foods will be a priority. That's it for me. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at whc at richardrose.com. Come see more of my work on Facebook, Medicinal Hemp Association, Hemp Food Association, Canaceuticals, Cannabology, and The Hemp Nut. That's it for me. I wish I were there. Uh, Ten years ago, my Harley broke down uh, in Slovenia, and I had really wanted to go follow the work of Dr. Janos Berenji and his work up in Novi Sad. So I wish I was there with you. We would make a field trip out of it and go to Novi Sad for a few days and go strain hunting. So have a great time um, and cheers from Colorado.